So now that we have our setup, um, I think the biggest thing that you first need to understand is how the brushes work and are like categorized. So here in Clip Studio Paint, of course, you already know, um, it's categorized by tools. So for each type of like tool, it has like its own sub. So a pen has pens and markers. A pencil is its own tool. A pen is its own tool. A brush has its own tool and like different categories. So you already know that. But in Krita, everything is basically under the brush tool, but um, it just has bigger categories inside them. You can look for ink inside here. Oh, let's search for ink. Then the ink stuff will show up. You can also look for paint and the paint stuff will show up. So that it's kind of like how it works. Instead of having its own tool and sub tools, um, it just has its own category, but it's still the same tool. You're still using the freehand brush tool and that's what you're going to use most of the time when you're going to be painting and drawing. Some brushes use different types of engine. So right now I'm using a pixel engine. Basically that's like your standard brush. If it's using the pixel engine, it's um, behaving the way you expect a normal brush to behave. But say let's go for something like paint and look for a smudge brush, something like this one. So this one behaves a bit differently because you can see it blends to the color that's already on the canvas. So if we put a red here and we put um, a yellow, then like grays on top of it, you can see that it's mixing those two colors together. And how this works is it's using the color smudge engine. So instead of having a sub tool for that in Clip Studio Paint, it's just using a different engine, but yeah, it's under the category of paint. So when you're painting, you can find this type of brush, but um, the other brushes in paint, say this one, is still a pixel engine. So some brushes behave normally. The other brushes, for example, here on the sketch category, uses the sketch engine and then has like a different look to their lines. So behave something like this compared to your normal like standard brush. Some of these are also like kind of like smudge brushes. So here it's the deform engine. It's different from the color smudge engine. And basically it's like a liquify tool, but in like in a tool form. So in Photoshop, you have to open up the whole liquify like window. Over here, you can just use it as a tool, then continue on with painting. Other ones are a bit more interesting, like a filter. So some brushes apply a filter over them. So for example, this one applies a little bit of blur to the area that you're painting and this um, sharpens it. So it's not um, visible right now. And because this is a pretty large canvas, but yeah, you can also like apply filters from brushes and this is how it works. You can just basically choose what kind of filter you want to apply. Um, sometimes it can be a color balance, color adjustment or blur, like dodge or burn. So you can apply different filters and apply that filter through a brush. So that's also like a possibility for the filter engine over here.